In this video you will learn what painting started the Impressionist. Come and find out what was said and take a very close look at the work. See you on the other side. Welcome to the Sunday Painter. Please click and subscribe, hit the like button and don't forget the little bell so you will be the first when we have an inspirational idea. Leave a happy creative comment. Ironically, Impression, Sunrise is not typical of Monet's work, although it does carry elements of his normal style. The horizon has disappeared in the water, sky, and reflections have all merged together. The buildings and ships in the background are only vague shapes and the red sun dominates the painting. His aim was not to create an accurate landscape, but to record the impressions of this view. Impression, Sunrise, was created from a scene in the port of Le Havre. Monet depicts a mist, which provides a hazy background to the piece set in the French harbor. The orange and yellow hues contrast brilliantly with the dark vessels, where little, if any detail is immediately visible to the audience. It is a striking and candid work that shows the smaller boats in the foreground almost being propelled along by the movement of the water. This has, once again, been achieved by separate brush strokes that also show various colors sparkling on the sea. Impression, Sunrise became the most famous in the series after being debuted in April 1874 in Paris at an exhibition by the group painters, sculptors, engravers etc. incorporated among 30 participants. The exhibition was led by Monet, Edgar Degas, Camille Pissarro, Pierre-Auguste Renoir, and Alfred Sisley, and showed over 200 works that were seen by about 4,000 people, including some rather unsympathetic critics. A critic who attended the exhibition, M. Louis Leroy, wrote a now famous article in La Chivrerie in which he used the term Impressionist based on the title of this painting. Despite the fact that Leroy had used the word derisively, the group decided to adopt it and painters such as Renoir and Degas, were happy to be called Impressionists. Color the group of studies made from Monet's hotel room were made from canvas with a base layer of grey and different tones. The layered effect provides depth in spite of imprecise details, creating a rich and tangible environment that seems like Le Havre, though not an exact likeness. Sunrise are hardly distinguishable, boundaries between objects are not obvious, and the paint becomes the place and effect, the colors of the paint melding together in its glooming, opalescent oneness, its foggy blankness, it's featureless, expect an emptiness that resembles, for the painter, an empty, uninflected canvas. They comment that the accents of blue-gray and orange cutting through the haze are like last-minute revelations that had to wait, not only for the particular glimmer of orange to burn its way through the fog and find its reflective path onto the water in Monet's eye but for the canvas itself, with the foggy space outside. Following 1874 and the rise of the Impressionist movement, Monet recalled Impression, Sunrise by naming other works with similar titles. The subtitles recalled Impression, Sunrise in style and influence, though their subjects varied. While the movement and the painting initially garnered controversy, Monet's Impression, Sunrise, gave rise to the name and recognition of the Impressionist movement, arguably exemplifying more than any other work or artist the Impressionist movement as a whole in style, subject, and influence. There you have it, the painting that started Impressionism. Click and subscribe for more informative videos to enrich your knowledge of art. Thanks for watching.